guys, we are gonna start make an interactive website. Um, you're gonna need to be familiar with JavaScript and jQuery for this, as well as HTML and CSS by the sounds of it. Um, if, you, if you're starting with this, it's probably a bad idea, even though the, it says the technical level is beginner. Um, but hey, I could be wrong. I've, I haven't even tried it yet, so let's see what's going on here. So, so we're unit one, your first program. Um, introduction web pages made with HTML and CSS uh, can create static content. So um, static content refers to content that doesn't change. Um, that's kind of why JavaScript and jQuery is so good. It allows us to uh, uh, stuff to change on our page. So HTML, here's what the HTML page looks like. Um, if you've taken any sort of uh, JavaScript stuff, you'll know this should all look familiar. Um, you're just calling on the files here. The first script loads in jQuery, the second script loads in apps.js. Uh, this is where the code for the drop down menu program lives. Okay. So, when you click Flipboard, a drop down menu doesn't appear. Fix this below the first script, add a second script, src. All right, so pretty simple here. We're going to add this script, src, and we're going to set it equal to, um, I'm just going to copy this, and this is where their code for the drop down menu is. Um, so now you can see we have a drop down menu. All right, so the code in the drop-down menu lives in JavaScript file app.js. First, we'll look at how the code is organized. So, so this should all look, you know, we have a main function here, and it does some stuff with our event handler and document not ready main. Okay. The code starts with a Java function called main. The function is a set of instructions that tells the computer what to do, and then we run it our main function. In the document dot, dot ready. So the main function is made up of three parts. First code selects a drop down toggle. So all right, dot drop down dash toggle. This is a parameter, uh, ID uh, ID or class. I forget what the dot is. Um, next, the code checks whether the HTML has been clicked. The line code inside the curly braces will run. Uh, this Drop down and alternate between showing and hiding term toggle. All right, so toggle is probably built into the JavaScript library. So what do we want to do here? When you click on Flipboard, the menu shows up but doesn't go away. So that's the toggle thing we we're talking about. So change the jQuery method drop down menu dot show to drop down dot toggle. So show means it won't go away unless we refresh the page. We don't want that. So get the app, click it, click away, click it again. Nice. So pretty, pretty, pretty simple so far. So the document dot ready waits for the HTML document to load completely before running the main function. Okay. Oh. All right. So this is going to trigger the drop down menu when the flipboard is clicked. However, the program has four mistakes that prevent it from working. Fix these to work. So var function, var main, drop down dot toggle. So what's going on? First thing first, let's I'll check the brackets. That all looks good. Document dot ready main function. All right, so, so let's see here. So when we click it, dot drop down menu should toggle. So let's go back a page and take a look. Alright, so the click is a needs a function as well. That's what it looks like. So when the click is saying, look, we need it to do some stuff, you also need this function here to do some stuff as well. Where does this go? So one, two, Three, four. So that looked like that fixed it. All right. So JavaScript is a programming language used to add interactivity to the web page. 
query simplifies JavaScript syntax, makes it easier to build. Okay, cool. So, uh, it uses events, DOM manipulation, which modifies HTML elements and adds animations. Nice. We just completed our first program. Really? Oh, all right. So it looks like we're we're now finally into where we want to be. So click on the menu. I click on the menu. Icon the menu displays by pushing the page body over to the right. Then click on the X icon. The menu closes. Click save and submit to get started. All right. So it looks like we might be working on this inside app.js so we want a var main and we want to create a function that does some stuff All right leave the functions code block empty alright so Goes like that actually. And so we're not actually doing anything with that. Uh, use jQuery to run the main function once the web page has fully loaded. Yeah, so that's correct. And then we act, we also want to tell jQuery to load our document. Already. And then we want to call main on it as well. Not too bad. So find the main function. There it is. Uh, use jQuery to select the class icon menu. Alright, so remember we want to find icon dash menu and oh, yeah, I forgot the period. So are we doing anything with this? Or how, how would they want us to do it? Yeah, so it looks like we just need to have it like that. We're not actually having it do anything. Uh, there we go. So we need to put the event handler, I believe is the technical name. And we're saying we want to add this click method on it. After add the dot click method. Icon dash menu. All right. So, if things aren't working properly, we're gonna go ahead and see that. So, make sure you use the single quotes. Um, double quotes do work, but um, in this environment, it looks like they want us to adhere to standard. All right. So, click. All right. So now we need a function here. That is going to do some stuff as well. And in here, what do we want it to do? Select the menu class. All right, so again, single quotes, menu, and dot menu, and animate it. So how do we animate it? So is there a dot animate? Let's see here. Yeah, there's a dot animate. So you can see right here that we want to shift it to the left by 200 millisec in 200 milliseconds and zero px. So animate in itself has some parameters. So we're going to call dot animate, and in here I'm a little confused as to why the brackets are like this, but it probably has to do because we're messing with um, with um, cascading style sheets. Um, I'm still somewhat new to jQuery. I kind of have fallen in love with it recently. I think it's a great resource. So let's see if we can do the second one now. So this connects with this. So that is our menu animate. So we moved it to 0 px and make this happen over 200 milliseconds. What else? 
we now want to put the rest of the page to the left. All right, so in our click function, if you ever get lost about where this needs to be, just go ahead and see where you're at because we don't want it to move no matter what. We want it to move on click, so it has to be in between here. And so we're going to select the body And this isn't a class, it's just a default. Uh, so we don't need to use a dot in it. And what else do we need? Modify the main function. So select the body HTML, animate and move it to the left 285 pixels. All right, so we're gonna call dot animate on this as well. And we wanna do it over 200. Um, and we want it to move it to the left by 285 pixels. Now it may turn out that we need to, oh, this is, looks correct. I was going to say it may need to be 200, negative 285. But so far it looks like it's working. And then when we click again, oh, oh so... You can see right now it's only moving to the left. We haven't actually set anything here to move it back. So that's what we're going to probably do next here. So the menu appears to be pushing the body over to the left. Cool. Click the X, try to make the menu move. Nothing happens. Save and submit. All right. So use the jQuery to select icon.close element. All right, so we don't want to be in there. We want to create a new fun a new thing here. So we are going to select dot icon dash close, and we want to call animate on it. And at this point, we're kind of familiar with this. So how fast do we want to do it? We want it in the same time frame. So there's 200. And what do we want to do here? Uh, we want to move it to the left by negative 285 pixels. So let's go ahead and save and submit. Let's see, icon dash close. Let's make sure our brackets are good here. So. That all looks correct to me. Okay, so here's our mistake. We actually need it, because otherwise it's just gonna animate all the time, and it's probably gonna cause an error. So we need it to be, we can put this anywhere. So we'll just throw it up at the top for now. So we actually need it to be within the click event handler here. So let's save and submit. Hmm. All right. So here is this. What is this? Oh. So this is where our air was. We were right. We just need to um, add the proper closing. There we go. So we added one too many brackets. So now it should should work. Huh, it's not working. Unexpected end of input. So let's actually go back because it looks like it's accepting our code, but there you go. No. So let's track our code here. It seemed to work, but our code no longer is. So work our way through. One, two, one, one, two. Okay, so this is what's going on here. They actually wanted us to 
have our own dot click function here. So you can see right here that when we click icon dot dash close, um, they want it. That's why it would work, but it's not going to. So um, just save a little bit of time because we found our error. We're gonna go ahead and put this in here. But basically, what the what happened was is that we needed to call dot click again because we called it on icon dash menu and not on icon dash close. So this click is only referring to the menu and this one's only referring to the close. So that's where our error was there. Um, I'm not sure why our code worked, but hey, it did. <laughs> so there it is. And we're done and we've basically created this. Oh, so this has our old code. So let's go ahead and fix that. Um, we basically have created our own push menu and it was it wasn't that bad um, so this might be something that you can you know put onto your website or anyone else's for that matter it seems to be fairly responsive and I think anybody could do this so up next for the interactive website um, I will see you then and uh, it'll probably just be a little more in-depth a little bit more jQuery um, but so far, it's not too bad. It's kind of given us a little preview of what's going on, and we'll see what's going on there next. So thanks for watching. Comments, questions, concerns, anything constructed is always appreciated. And I will see you guys in the next video. And don't forget to check out my own jQuery labs, which are from Applied jQuery, and uh, which is a book I got. And it's something I highly recommend people follow along so that uh, once you're done with, J with Code Academy, because we're, we're getting to the end of it for my channel, to, uh, if you want to do a little more in jQuery, check that out. And I'll be doing some videos on Java servlets from some of my college course courses as well. So I'll see you guys then.